You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Oliver Anthony, you up to bat. Bah. It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water, man. You already know what it is. The kids to be free in 2023. The kids to be free in 2023. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another Oliver Anthony reaction. Now, y'all was letting me know in the last video when I reacted to his song, like, yo, dude is not signed. He turned down deals. He he blew up overnight somewhat, you know what I mean? So I was like, I seen they got a video talking about where he turned down an $8 million deal. So I was like, Let's tap into more of his mindset and see like actually who this guy is. And y'all let me know in the comments below if y'all want me to check out some more of his music. Y'all let me know about that. That's the only song I heard from him. But I want to hear what he's talking about. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe too. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. Oliver Anthony has become an overnight sensation with his song Richmond North of Richmond, mm -hmm. and rightfully so, but through all of the headlines and the hype over this month, we have not really heard much from the man himself, nor really had a glimpse of who Oliver Anthony really is. And okay. is he even Oliver Anthony? Well, no he's not. What? But he is still the same man that we hear and see in the Richmond North of Richmond. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So he's not Oliver Anthony? Is that just like a stage name or something like that? And I wonder why he would choose that name. Hmm. In video, he is humble and as real as they get. I mean, hell, the That's man real. has turned down an $8 million music industry offer and has had several others. And wow. today, on Oliver Anthony Music's social media, the man, a part of it all, shared a powerful message behind all of the hype and glory so far, as mm. well as formally introducing us to the real man behind Richmond North of Richmond. His post read, It's been difficult as I browse through the 50,000 plus messages and emails that I've received in the last week. The stories- You talking about going viral, viral. You talking about going viral, his joint still getting millions of views per day, man. Let's go. That have been shared paint a brutally honest picture. Addiction, unemployment, anxiety, and depression, hopelessness, and the list goes on. I'm sitting in such a weird place in my life right now. I never wanted to be a full-time musician, much mm. less sit at the top of the iTunes charts. Wow. Draven from Radio WV and I filmed these tunes on my land with the hope that it may hit 300,000 views. Right. I still don't quite believe what has went on since we uploaded that. It's just strange to me. Mm. People in the music industry give me blank stares when I brush off $8 million offers. <laughs> I don't want six tour buses, 15 tractor trailers, and a jet. Right. I don't want to play stadium shows. Wow. I don't want to be in the spotlight. I wrote the music I wrote because I was suffering with mental health. And Whoa. Whoa. He like, I don't even want all that. Pretty much I wrote these songs because I was going through what I was going through. And if you an artist, I'm an artist, you understand that it's therapy for you. You know what I'm saying? Like to get it out and to get it out there. So he like, I don't even want all that stuff. I just wanted to be real and true to who I am. Can't be true, be you. You better stop playing, man. He thought he just wanted 300,000 views. Ended up, come on, man. Depression. These songs have connected with millions of people yeah. on such a deep level because they're being sung by someone feeling the words in the very moment mm. they were being sung. Mm. No editing, no agent, no bullshit. Just some idiot and his guitar. The style of music that we should have never gotten away from mm. in the first place. I agree. So that being said, I have never taken the time to tell you who I actually am. Here's a formal introduction. Okay. My legal name is Christopher Anthony Lunsford. My grandfather was Oliver Anthony. And oh. Oliver Anthony Music is a dedication not only to him, but 1930s Appalachia, where he was born and raised. Dur That's dope. That's dope paying like respect to his grandfather. That's super dope. Dirt floors, seven kids, hard times. At this point, I'll gladly go by Oliver because everyone knows me as such. But my friends and family still call me <laughs> Chris. You can decide for yourself. Either is fine. 
In 2010, I dropped out of high school at age 17. Wow. I have a GED from Spruce Pine, North Carolina. Oh, hold on. Are you from North Carolina? You know, that's where I'm from. I seen them say Appalachia. Do they mean like the Appalachian Mountains? Come on, man. Come on. I work multiple plant jobs in Western North Carolina. My last being at the paper mill in McDowell County. Wow. I worked third shift six days a week for $14.50 an hour in a living hell. Wow. In 2013, I had a bad fall at work and fractured my skull. Whoa. It forced me to move back home to Virginia. Due to complications from the injury, it took me six months or so before I could work again. Jeez. From 2014 until just a few days ago, I've worked outside sales in the industrial manufacturing world. My job has taken me all over Virginia and into the Carolinas, mm. getting to know tens of thousands of other blue collar workers on job sites and in factories. Mm. I've spent all day, every day for the last 10 years mm. hearing the same story. People are so damn tired of being neglected, divided, and manipulated. In 2019, I paid $97,500 for the property and still owe about $60,000 on he, it. Hey, he, he keeping it a buck. Like he giving you, he like, let me give you a formal introduction. He's giving you a very descript introduction of who he is, where he come from, what he stand for, and the things that inspired who he is as a person. I like that. I like that. I like that. I am living in a 27 foot camper with a tarp on the roof that mm. I got off of Craigslist for $750. There's nothing special about me. I'm not a good mm. musician. I'm not a very good person. What? I've spent the last five years struggling with mental health mm. and using alcohol to drown it. Look, man, that don't, I don't know his situation, but the fact that people struggle with mental health don't make you not a good person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that he's saying that. But I don't want people to feel like just because you got certain things that you struggle with that that makes you a bad person. Technically, it, but it all depends on, you know, but let's go. I'm sad to see the world and the state that it's in mm. with everyone fighting with each other. I've spent many nights feeling hopeless that the greatest country on earth is quickly fading away. Mm. That being said, I hate the way the internet has divided all of us. Wow. The internet is a parasite. That wow. infects the minds of humans and has their way with them. That's real. Hours wasted, goals Ooh. forgotten, loved ones sitting in houses with each other, distracted all wow. day by technology made by the hands of other poor souls in sweatshops in a foreign land. <laughs> when it what? Oh hell no! Bro, he talking about the technology was made by other hands. What in sweatshops in a foreign land? Oh man, he different, different. He different. Is enough enough? When are we going to fight for what is right again? Mm. Millions have died protecting the liberties we have. Freedom of speech is such a precious gift. Yes. Never in world history has the world had the freedom it currently does. Mm. Don't let them take it away from you. Just like those once wandering in the desert, we have lost our way from God mm. and have let false idols distract us and divide us. It's a damn shame. Hey. Yo, this guy here, man. Where did he come from? Obviously, he just told you where he came from. Lay back. Are you listening? Yes. I just answered my own question. Anyway, this dude, man, he like, look, the internet, all of this stuff is dividing us. So many people working the same jobs and and for years and years and feeling neglected, feeling like they're not being heard or seen, undervalued. Wow. I mean, we all hear it. Or I ain't gonna say we all hear it. We all see it, but it's different when you hear it. You know what I'm saying? You hear somebody actually saying it and speaking it. And like he said, when we made the song, this is how I was really feeling in the moment. So that's probably why it's connecting with everybody because they hear that same, they hear the similarities in it. All right, so that was Oliver Anthony speaks out about the $8 million deal, bruh. This guy, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot because he's talking about the mental health. He's talking about stuff that people going through today and been going through for years. And he's also attacking the internet and how he said it's like a parasite. How we be in the same house with the same people chilling. 
we in our phones and not even spending time with each other for real. It's like you in a matrix or something like that. Everybody's so connected to their phone. Then he's talking about how the phone was manufactured by some sweatshop somewhere in a foreign land. Wow. Talking about how we turn into false idols and taking God out the picture. And wow, I like this guy. I would love to talk to this guy, interview this guy. That would be fire. That would be crazy. A shot in the dark, but that would be fire. Y'all let me know about this guy, man. Y'all, y'all let me know. Y'all want me to check out more of his music? Drop it in the comments. But till next time, man, be on the lookout for my podcast. Like I said, it's tackling about a lot of mental health and stuff like that. So make sure y'all subscribe, man. Till next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.